How many times a day do you see different forms of advertising for a product? Whether a brochure, tweet, photo, video, or one of the numerous ways there are to advertise the products that we buy. And where do you see these? Is it online? In a shop? Walking down the street? On the radio? Watching it on TV? Or in the waiting room while sat ready to go into the dentist? Advertising is incredibly powerful and it's all around us. You've probably seen numerous different adverts this week, probably seen some today, and there might even be one in the room that you're sat in right now. It's easy to see why product videos are becoming incredibly popular. In 2014, 64% of people were more confident in their online purchase decisions after watching a video, and 85% of people would rather watch a video than read the text. Let's look at one of the world's biggest companies, Apple. Look at their YouTube channel. Every single video you see is a product demonstration video. And let's look at their most popular product, the iPhone. Watch the following video. How many features can you spot? Dun, 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 dun. How many did you get? I got 15 features, two products, two different colour schemes, and the company branding. And that was just 30 seconds. Here are some of my top tips for your product demonstration videos. Number one, don't push the price, push the product and the sales will come. Humans hate the thought of spending their hard earned dosh. We love money. So don't push the price. Even asking for as much as one pound can put someone off. But if you sell its features, you sell what it looks like, and most importantly, you sell why the consumer needs it, someone may already have decided to buy it before even knowing what the price is. Number two, don't include things that are unnecessary. I've seen many different product demonstration videos where it's a really small product, but yet they have a presenter holding it for the whole of, of the video. Why would I want to see a presenter when the product's so minuscule? I'd rather have a look at the product. It's okay maybe to have a few shots of that person using the product, but a whole video without any close-ups showing me exactly what it does, that doesn't make me want to buy it. And number three, put your brand on it, but don't be pushy. Simply a logo at the start and the end of a video will do just fine. If you put your brand all over it, it can detract from the actual product. And people aren't interested in your brand, it's not that that they're buying, they're buying the product. Small companies can do this as well though. Recently we work for a company in the Harrogate area that sells extraction fans for kitchens and bathrooms around the UK. They commissioned 150 different product demonstration videos across their range of kitchen extractors. We haven't even finished producing the videos yet, but already sales are up 50%. This has meant an increase in profits and their profile has been raised in the local area and across the UK. We produce product demonstration videos for business. We'd love to hear from you.